Hey everybody, this is Alex from AlexMersetCoder.com and what I plan on doing today, uh, or actually over this next video series, which will probably take many days, is we're going to create one backend application and then using that same backend application we will create several front ends. Um, the reason I'm doing this is one to illustrate just really kind of hammer down the idea that your backend application is a separate application than your front end application. These are two apps you're building. They may work together to make one sort of user experience, but that backend app can be used to, few, to work in cooperation with many front end apps and create many user experiences. Also as a way to kind of go over React, Vue, Angular, Svelte, and um, we'll probably do Stencil.js and maybe even just do pure web components. So we'll probably build six front ends. So let's actually start scoping out this project. So let's do new file or new folder. Okay, and we'll just call this uh, lots of apps. Okay, and first we're gonna, we're gonna scope out all the folders for, well, Technically, most of the CLI tools for a lot of these are going to make those apps for us. So we'll do it one at a time. So first, I am going to create an Express app. And if I remember right, I do have a little tool for that. So open, I'm going to open up this folder in the terminal. Close some of these extra bash terminals. There we go. Wait for this to open up. Okay, Expresso, and we'll just call this backend. Okay, and this is just a custom uh, bash function I created. So if you type in Expresso backend into your computer, it's not gonna do anything. Okay, do do do. See, and she builds it out for me. See, I got all my stuffs. So it's building out my Express application. Okay, what we're gonna do is just cr create a very rude, crude. Um, express express to do API um, that we'll use to fuel several front end applications. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for that to finish installing all the things. Okay, and there's my server.js, so I guess my, I can start getting my server.js set up. Um, so let's see here const express express equals require express. And then const app equals express. Um, we're also going to want const cores. I have to download this library. We're going to want it eventually. Require cores. Um, I think that's all I'm going to use at the moment. Um, let's take a look at my package.json. Do I need to install cores? Yes, I do. So let's go over here and npm install cores okay let's set up my middleware or actually let's first set up our main array so const to do's equals an empty array okay it's just gonna be an array strings we're gonna make this real simple const to do's and then we're going to do const or middleware so just label that area and so we're going to want app.use we want to make sure we have our cores middleware so that we don't have to worry about any of the any cores errors as we build the other front end applications i we're planning to send everything back as json so express.json so we can parse the body of our requests uh, I'm not going to use a static folder because we're going to build the front end separately. And that might be it for now. Then we're going to have our listener, our app listener. And we're going to sit there and say app.listen. And we'll do it on port 4000. And we'll just have a little callback that says console.log. Listening on port 4000. Uh, 
Okay, and now we'll have our routes. So we'll make these pretty straightforward. Routes. So we just need a get route, app.get, to get all the to-dos, app.get. This will be our root route. Okay. And basically this will be rec res. And all this does is res.json uh, to-dos. Mm, why doesn't it like that? Oh, that's fine. Okay, so let's think here. That should be good for that route. Okay, then we need our create route so we can add it to do. So we'll do app.post. And that'll also be to the root, because why not? And rec res. Okay, and what this will do is take um, the rec.body, so take the to do's dot push, and we're going to push rec.body into the array, and then it will respond back with the full array. Is that JSON to do's? Good. App dot post. And this now we need one to update, so that would be app dot put put request and that's still going to be a put to the root and that'll be a rec res okay and that'll be oh, and we need to actually have a param here ID so that way they can put in the I or the index. Really? Okay, and then here we're gonna destructure the index. So const index will destructure the index from the rec bot the request body equals rec dot body. Oh not rec dot body, rec dot params. Because it's a parameter in the URL. And then what we can do is say to do's index equals rec dot body dot to do we don't have to make it where the body has a to-do property. Because I don't want it to be an array of objects. I actually want it to be an array of strings. So don't only push that one property into it. Um, and then just in that case, it's just swapping it out. It's just saying, hey, that individual one is now equal to this. Um, good, so that's that. And then I can pretty much copy this one. This is going to be a delete route. And it's going to delete the index. So we still need to destructure the index, except now it's going to be to do's dot splice from the index, only one element. So we can remove that element. And then we res dot json to do's. Okay, let me just do that again over here. Res dot json to do's. You always get back the updated list of to-dos after each request. And that's it right there. You have a, a full-on API for to-dos. The only issue with this is I'm not using a database. So technically, if the server restarts, all those to-dos I've added and subtracted are gone. But, uh, you know, it should work. So let's do this node server.js. Where am I actually? No, I need, yeah, I'm in the folder. So node server.js. Cool. Okay, so that's set up. Let's open up Postman. So where's Postman? 
and then I'm gonna pause this while Postman opens up. Okay, so Postman is open. Nice. So let's see here. Um, this is gonna be, we're gonna test out this API. Let me just close out a lot of these other tabs just for sake of speed. Don't save, don't save, don't save. Get rid of the launch pad. Just start with a fresh tab for the sake of speed. And again, it's HTTP. Localhost 4000. And again, everything is a root route, so um, this should just get me an empty array right now because there shouldn't be any. Uh, so let's see here. And did I get a root response? Yep, an empty array. So that worked. So now we will go to the post route and add an array. And for that, I just need a body. It's going to be raw JSON. And it should only need, it only needs one property in it. Okay, which should be to do. To do. And the string will be uh, do laundry. Okay, and that should be all I need at the moment. To make a post request to here. So let's make a post request and I should come back with an array with one item. And there we go. So we have an array with one item so far. And then let's edit that island I item. So that should be the only item in the array. So it should be the zero index. So put, we have that of a zero. And let's change it to do laundry two. So I send it, it should update it and send me back an updated array. And yep, see, do laundry two. It works. And then if I do a delete, it should delete that one item, give me back an empty array because it should be empty. Good. Our endpoints work. Yes. So we've built the API. Um, again, it's a really simple API because it's that's the point. The point is just to have something really easy to make. Um, I am going to add a few starter pieces of data. So we'll just say, you know, groceries, laundry. So that way it's the server restarts and we try each of these apps that has some initial items to work with. Okay, but aside from that, uh, that's that's that. Um, so the next video we'll probably do React first because React sh should be the the easiest one to do because it's the one I have the most experience with. Um, and then we'll go through Angular, Vue, all these other uh, attempts at building a front end um, and grabbing these routes. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Ciao.